Hi, this is Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management, and I want to show you a new uh, feature coming to Analysis Workspace with the Adobe Analytics June release, which allows you to define the layout of a project in Analysis Workspace very flexibly. Uh, so I've just built a, a very simple uh, table and set of visualizations here, a uh, couple of metrics, uh, sing single dimension, uh, just to, to demonstrate this. Uh, what we've what we've done is given you the ability to uh, to be uh, very flexible with where you uh, put things and how uh, how large those things are. So, for example, uh, I now have the ability to very easily drag and drop and place this donut graph below the bar graph. Uh, that's sort of the simplest uh, simplest view of of what we've done here. Um, I also have the ability to change the width, uh, and I can I can go at uh, different increments. I can do uh, 25 percent, 50 percent, uh, 75, and 100 uh, percent for now. And uh, I'm going to go 50 here, and then I'm actually going to go 50 here as well. And you'll see that it moves the donut graph up to uh, right in line with the bar graph, so I can have multiple visualizations based on the table um, uh, that I have down below. Um, the other uh, the other, and I could also do that, by the way, with the table. So if I wanted to make that 75%, and then maybe have, uh, let's just for the sake of of demonstrating this, if I wanted to do another visualization and maybe make it 25%, and then I can drag and drop it and place it next to the table. So you end up with a much richer project uh, than uh, than you're able to do with just simple visualizations and tables. But the other thing that I can do here uh, is I can if I want to, if I just select items in the graph uh, or in the table, you'll notice that the graph actually updates. Uh, so I can, if I just want to graph these three items, I can do that. And you'll see that for each of the visualizations, I'm now looking at only those three items. And I can do that, I can do that extremely flexibly. If I only want to look at, uh, say, average order value and I don't want to look at revenue, I can select average order value. If I only want to look at revenue, of course, I can do that as well. Uh, so this ability to select items in a graph and then have, uh, or items in a table and then have the graph reflect that, uh, combined with the ability to lay out projects um, however you want, adds, I think, a lot of power to analysis workspace uh, with our June release.